This video is made to review the procedures of a dental cleaning and surgical tooth extraction here at the Feline Medical Center. We take great care to handle our patients gently and keep the environment quiet and calm for their comfort. The first step is a pre-anesthetic exam to ensure the patient is well hydrated, their weight is stable, lungs are clear, heart rhythm and sounds are normal. All cats have blood work completed to assess organ function before anesthesia is pursued. After the blood work and examination is complete, a pre-anesthetic sedative is given as the first step of anesthesia. This is an injection that will relax the patient and facilitate a low stress procedure for everyone. Notice how the nurse does not scruff the cat and distracts him while the injection is given slowly. Once the patient is comfortably sedated, an intravenous catheter is placed by our nurse. This allows administration of IV medications to maintain anesthesia for pain management and IV fluids as needed throughout the procedure. Once the catheter is placed, an IV anesthetic is administered. This is the point at which the patient is put into a deep sleep and no longer aware of their surroundings. Next, an endotracheal tube is placed to maintain an open airway during anesthesia and to administer oxygen and gas anesthesia. One of the most important parts of anesthesia is the monitoring of the patient's vital signs. This allows us to detect small changes in their condition before it causes a problem. At the Feline Medical Center, we monitor ECG, or the electrical activity of the heart, heart rate, blood pressure, oxygen level, inhaled and exhaled carbon dioxide, respiratory rate, and body temperature. If any of the parameters become abnormal, we can adjust the anesthesia accordingly. Once the patient is anesthetized, radiographs or x-rays are taken to evaluate the bone and tooth root below the gum line. This shows the lower right teeth. The middle one is a more normal looking tooth and the other has a large resorptive lesion and a moth-eaten appearance. This tooth is most likely painful for our patient and will need to be surgically extracted. Now our nurse is using an ultrasonic scaler to rid the teeth of calculus and tartar. She will clean all sides of each tooth, removing debris accumulated both above and just below the gum line. Removing the rough calculus also reduces the amount of bacteria growing near the gum line that can lead to gingivitis. After the ultrasonic scaling, our nurse polishes the teeth. This creates a smooth surface on the crown of the tooth after cleaning to reduce bacterial attachment that can cause or accelerate periodontal disease. Once the teeth are cleaned and polished, the veterinarian inspects the oral cavity for bleeding gums, pocketing under the gum line or evidence of bone loss around each tooth, crown fractures, missing teeth, the appearance of the roof of the mouth, the tongue and under the tongue for abnormalities. This cat's gums bleed on gentle probing, indicating active gingivitis. We can also easily see the tooth reabsorption that was visible on the x-ray images earlier. Before the diseased tooth can be extracted, a nerve block is done. 
This will numb the nerve supplying the sensation to the lower teeth on this side, just like we receive during dental procedures. To block the nerve in this case, it can best be reached from under the jaw. This um, back root right here is completely resorbed, so uh, I don't have to take that out. This uh, front or more rostral root is still there, so we have to take that out. We can't leave it behind or else it has a potential to get infected. So we have to make a flap first um, to give us something to suture. So I have to cut the gingival tissue. I want it to be wide to give us something to suture. So then our next step is to, uh, to drill away the bone underneath so we can get to the, the tooth root right here. Now that we are done cleaning, polishing, and the diseased teeth were surgically extracted, our nurse is going to apply Sanos, a dental sealant. This is applied to the crown of the tooth, starting just below the gum line. Once dried, it lasts for six months to help reduce inflammation of the gum line caused by bacterial attachment to the teeth and calculus formation.